Okay, Nate. So how's Shamrock doing here at OEC Divisionals? Uh, pretty good. Uh, we got, obviously, our first one. I think we got about 10 kids wrestling a day. We had two this morning. Uh, one went two and two. The other one was got second. Oh, we had another one yesterday. Got third as well, too. So we got about 10 more today um, to go. So not too bad. We'll see. Alex Dockerty today. Yes, yeah. <laughs> well, wait. Uh, 80, Division 4. 80 Division Four. Is this the last year for him before junior high? Yeah, yeah. He's a, he's a young, uh, he's young. He's still 11, sixth grade, but uh, he'll be actually a month from yesterday. He'll be 12. So yeah, he uh, it's only one year in D4 for him. So just one year in D4. Will you? Will he just go right into high school and everything? There's no. What's what's the intention here? Yeah, with no, he'll just go straight through. I mean, yeah, just seventh eighth after this, and then right to high school. So. Will he graduate at seventeen? No, he'll be like me, uh, March birthday. So he'll be seventeen his whole senior year, then eighteen right before. Right? Eighteen for the state tournament, essentially. Uh, yeah, the thirteenth is his birthday, so probably the week week after the state tournament. You could have been back another year. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Actually, the way it works now, you could have been back two years. Yeah. Yeah. What was the you know like? Is there, you know, my brother Chad, he was 17 when he graduated. My sister's 17. Uh, one of my best friends, Pat Kenya, 17. Mm -hmm. Do you like it or do you want him out of your house? What's what's the... It doesn't matter. I mean, it's, it really depends on the kid. I understand all types of reasons for it. Like, I originally wanted to start Alex later, but he was such a handful when he was little. I had to get him out of the house. But, you know, grades are good. Um, you know, he's competitive. Uh, so, there's really no reason for it. I mean, it is what it is. There's no really, really reason. I actually thought about doing it just because of this whole COVID situation and getting a year of his life back. Cause I feel bad for these kids because, you know, small time you got to be a kid and you've, a lot of them essentially have lost a year of their life to being cooped up inside a house, you know. Okay, so you guys made the big shift from Walsh Jesuit to St. V. Yeah, about five years ago. How has that shift been for you? And, and it's, a, it's a Walsh guy who's the head coach at St. V. Yeah, Danny Rooney. Yeah. Right? Yeah, he's uh, obviously we grew up wrestling North Akron together, went to Walsh together. You know, he was like my little wrestling brother. Uh, he's a year younger than me as we we're going through everything. He used to travel with us. So that, that's 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 a really easy transition. I mean, uh, you know, guys, when we went over to St. V. Shamrock, you know, welcomed us in. Um, so it, it's been pretty easy so far. I mean, no, no issues with that. I think it's been like a decade since you and I did an interview, and it was an OAC interview, wasn't it? Probably, probably, yeah. It was probably back in 2010, 2011. It's yeah, been, it was in my car. Yeah, it was in my it's car. been like a so, decade, yeah. right? Yeah. So when you look at this, you guys are here. How many uh, kids do you try and get involved in OAC stuff? You know, OAC is the standard for for middle school and grade school here in the state of Ohio. How many kids do you try and get involved out of Shamrock? Uh, as many as we can, obviously it depends on the skill level. We're not gonna throw uh, any new little kids out to the wolves, anything like that. You know, it really depends on the skill level. We obviously encourage them to wrestle as much as they can to get that experience. But again, you know, I, we have some little guys that are just practicing, learning to wrestle for a year before they compete. I mean, and that's that's the best. You get, really gotta look at where the kid's at and, you know, because you take them out here, you, you, gets pinned every five seconds every match it's not even working it's going to discourage them the sport's hard enough as it is so you know you got to take it each each individually where's my guy freddie freddie's at your, he's checking his place up the lake right now um he hadn't been up there since well october probably maybe beginning of november so he's up there checking on everything make sure everything's okay. tell him not to run water through the pipe shut <laughs> i think he's going to turn it on he's going to turn his heat on and everything up there oh he'll so, so he'll leave the heat on he yeah. can start the water yeah, yeah. it's a bad week to start know, it i'm not know, gonna lie know, to you know, yeah. Uh, this venue, um, everybody was like, oh, the venue's real cold. It's not real cold. No, not at I, all. That's what I heard. Someone's like, oh, there's no heat there. There's heat here. Yeah. Uh, we've been here. We, we brought a couple kids here two other times when they had tournaments here, just little open tournaments. Um, and it, it's been fine. I mean, obviously, oh, you see the, the setup and what they do is here is great. So, But um, from what everyone I've talked to, like yesterday's session, everything's running smooth. So hopefully it'll go well today, too. How many kids in Alex's weight? I think there's 14 in here. 14? Yeah. Did he get seated? No, 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 no seated. No, he didn't do the. Just how you stuff. like it. Yeah, I mean, it, it, you got to win it. You got to beat them all, anyway. So, all right, is your angel <laughs> wife here? Yeah, she's here. You got the best wife ever, dude. <laughs> One of the best wives in the business. All right, we're, look, sounds like we're gonna get rolling here soon. Do you got anything else for me? No, man. Great. Uh, love the content. Uh, keep up the good work, man. All right. Nate, oh, I'm hearing whistles. Right. Nate, thanks for the time. Good luck. All right, thanks, sir.